we're going to make curry. Not just curry, Japanese curry. So first off, I got some veggies, onions, carrots, a potato, and some meat. We're going to prep the ingredients and then start cooking. I'm gonna use chicken. I'm not a huge fan of chicken and curry, but uh, it should be okay. This was uh, packaged when my mom visited me last uh, summer. At this point, we got a bowl of chicken and a bowl of veggies. So we're going to take these and we're going to, you know, cook them in a, a pot and try to get them, uh, get the veggies to get wilted a little bit and uh, get a little bit of browning on the chicken. The chicken's gone white, but I'm not getting much color on it, so I'm just going to uh, skip ahead to uh, boiling it. I, I could be that I used too too small of a pot here for frying, but we're going to add water now and bring this water up to a boil. And after it starts boiling, we're going to let it boil for about 15 minutes to cook everything until it's 
tender. Traditionally, we use rice, but because I'm feeling supremely lazy, I'm going with pasta. Not just pasta, but angel hair, because it only takes two minutes to complete. Well, after boiling, we've got things pretty soft. We now take our curry mix. Golden curry, Japanese, medium hot. And I took the mix, cut it up into little cubes, and stir and get this mixed up. And with that, you have Japanese style curry with chicken over pasta. And what should we do with the leftovers? Well, the next day, they go over biscuits.